Hello everyone, my name is Devin Adams. I'm a Fortinet instructor for Dynamic Worldwide in Tempe, Arizona, and I usually record these videos for my uh, participants that take my class. And uh, I just got done recording like 20 videos for studying for minus C4, minus C7, um, and then I, I took it, I passed, yay! Anyways, I wasn't too worried, but um, <laughs> I sound so sounds so cocky anyways I don't mean to be uh, but someone mentioned in my last video though they're like hey what about what about uh, BGP what about uh, auto discovery VPNs right so um, and then I realized you know what they have a good point point. and the reason why I couldn't do this in my last topologies uh, I had a topology I was just throwing everything that I could at it and that's because just recently in 621 I think it was they finally made the SD WAN compatible with the auto discovery VPN all right so um, I couldn't use that topology because for one my my test was on six zero and two I had fully committed to the SD WAN solution but now that's not a problem um, but I had to build a new topology so here it is guys so uh, this is just a NAT cloud and GNS3 these are two PF sense routers okay and uh, this is actually just a make-believe switch that I named WAN and painted a cloud and as you can see we have a hub over here and a hub over here all right and we have spokes and uh, the whole point of this is to eventually get these spokes to directly talk to each other using the auto discovery VPN so um, but before you can do that you first need IBGP reflectors or using some flavor of, of dynamic routing all right um, and I did not touch on BGP at all okay um, so yeah so we're gonna make this happen so here we go so for starters we're gonna install and configure BGP on PFSense okay so we're gonna make this one autonomous system 200 this one autonomous system 300 and we're gonna start from there and then uh, after that we're gonna get our hubs to get the default gateway uh, via BGP just so I can see you just so I can show you guys what it's like to do a BGP pair from the 40 gates up to like a service provider okay and then uh, we're going to configure the hub and spoke the long way yeah the long way and then we're gonna do the route reflectors using IBGP and last but not least, we're going to flip on the advanced VPN and then test it out, okay? So, uh, i got to keep these videos shorter, and, and I'm not going to lie, guys. After all that studying, I'm pretty burnt out, so this will probably be my last playlist for a while. So, um, but yeah, let's go ahead and get started by uh, just installing and configuring BGP on PFSense, okay? Because right now, all of these routes are known to this autonomous system. All of these routes are known from this autonomous system but guess what they don't know about each other's routes okay now this guy down here has one default route and it's going to autonomous system 200 uh, no it's not I lied it's going to 300 so he can reach these machines over here but when he tries to go over here guess what it doesn't work so uh, just to kind of prove that all right if it's a 40 gate that's on this side it's fine but the second that we try to get to the headquarters over here, all right, it, it won't be able to make it, okay? So, um, yeah, so how do we fix that? Well, we could statically put the routes in, or we can use BGP, and I'm just going to use this example to do BGP. So if you guys want BGP in your lab environments, okay, uh, this is how you do it. I'm just using PFSense because it has the easiest, friendliest way of, of uh, spitting up a quick BGP configuration. So I'm just going to log in with my super secret credentials there. All right. See my IP addresses. So it knows 10 200 ones, but it definitely does not know about the 10 100s. Okay. So we're going to first turn it on on this box right here. All right. So. Uh, we're going to go to system, we're going to go to package manager, and, and GNS3 has a lot of cool stuff. I'll probably use this too also to demo things like uh, Radius and Tactax one of these days. So, all right, let's just type in BGP, okay? I'll use this one right here, open BGP, and we're going to install it. All right, now while that is pushing down, let's go ahead and go to our other autonomous system. 
All right, so as you guys can see, it knows the 10.100 prefix, but doesn't know anything else. All right, so let's do the same thing. Let's go to system, let's get our package manager. All right, let's get to available packages. Let's find BGP, do a little searchy search. All right, there we go, hit install. Let it confirm. All right, and we'll let that bake. So this one says that it's done. So let's go ahead and configure this one to be uh, an autonomous system. So let's go here. All right, so this one's AS200. So we are going to go to our services. We're gonna go to uh, BGP. There it is. Now our autonomous system is gonna be 200. Okay, I'm gonna leave these the default. All right, and also you guys see how it says listening on local IP addresses. Well, we're just going to leave it on on everything. All right, so but here set the router ID to the given IP address, which must match the local machine. So here we're going to go ahead and say 10 dot, and this is going to be R. So it's going to be 172. Actually, you know what? I don't even need to do that because I just realized we're going to peer with the other peeps. Here, watch. I Trust me, trust me. But here's where it gets interesting, and that's the routes that we are going to advertise out to the, uh, to the other side. So uh, the 200 knows about the 10-200 network. All right, so we're going to say, hey, you know what? Anything that's 10, 200, right, with the slash 16, bring it over here. And that's pretty much what we're saying. All right. And then our neighbors, before we do that, let's go ahead and do a group. And we'll call this AS300 because they are, well, 300. Okay. And then for our neighbor, we're going to put in our IP address. So AS300. And I believe, what is their default gateway? It's going to be the one. So it's going to be 172, 16, 1 dot 1. OK. And what group? The AS300 group. And yeah. That looks good to me. Sure. Okay. Now we got to do it on the other side, though. So here we go. Let's go to our services. Let's go to BGP now on the other PFSense box. All right. Where did you go? There it is. And we are going to be Autonomous System 300. All right. And we are going to be advertising the prefixes of 100. Oops, if I can type zero, zero with slash 16, not 26. All right, there we go. And then our groups, we're going to be one that's called AS200, 200. All right, I'll hit save just to make sure. And then let's go ahead and say, hey, if you want to get to AS200, all right, you're going to have to go to 172, 16, 1.254. All right, and what group is it? AS200 group. And we're going to say save. Okay, save. And uh, believe it or not, guys, that should be it. If I did everything right. So, and as you can see here, we now have a peer. All right, and they've sent us over a single prefix. Oh, come on, guys. How cool is that from Mr. AS200? So let's go ahead and uh, take a look at our routing table now. So if we come down here to our status, nope, diagnostics, maybe. Let's go to routes. Okay, and we now know who to give the 10.200 network to, all right, which is going to be our neighbor. So the real question is, though, does it work? Oh, I don't know. 
Uh, we couldn't get to 10.200 before, right? And just like that, it's routable. So guys, honestly, that's BGP. And that is it running on PFSense. And we now have the core to do the rest of this lab. All right. So, and just to confirm, and I can come over here too, and obviously it's going to say the exact same thing when we go to st status. All right. See? Yay! Come on, guys. It's cool. So, all right, guys. Well, that's it for right now. Okay. I'll try to pull up this whole entire playlist here soon, but that is how you configure BGP uh, on PFSense within GNS3. All right. So, when we get back, we'll. We'll go ahead and we'll configure the FortiGates to get their default gateway from these two guys just to show how it's done also from the FortiGates. So, all right, until next time.